For over a century, businesses have come and gone in Driggs, but the corner drug has been a staple in the community throughout all of those years, still making their famous milkshakes. Probably when I was, uh, probably as early as 12 years old, in my mind, I had it all planned out to get through high school, go to pharmacy college, come up and, and uh, be able to take over granddad's drug. Jim Hunter's first memory of the drugstore dates back to the 1940s. The pharmacy then was totally different than it is now. And he can still remember watching as his granddad would run the store. We had the counter towards the back. As a child, he would leave school early to get everything ready for all of the students who would come by for an after-school treat. thing here, you'd take and you'd fill those with ice cream. And so when the... Uh, we knew they was coming, and it would be a mad rush for probably 25 minutes. At just eight or nine years old. That's back when you could buy a, a big hunk candy bar for a nickel, if you can imagine. Jim already had an important job at the store. Not only to sell the candy, but make sure the, the kids didn't uh, pocket the candy. So you started working young. I did. And I've enjoyed it then, and I've enjoyed it ever since. That enjoyment then was carried down to his daughter Sally, who helped while her dad ran three drugstores when she was young. I got 50 cents an hour and I washed dishes and I just loved it. But it wasn't until she left for college when she realized she'd someday want to take over the family business. I missed out on what I loved. Just over 10 years ago, Sally and her husband took over the drugstore and worked on recreating the soda fountain's older look after it was taken apart in the 60s following a small fire. We had a lot of really positive feedback. People were really excited. It, it looked like it looked when they were young. And though they've had to make a few changes, the overall environment and hospitality is still the same, filled with laughs and that everlasting history. In Driggs, Melissa Hackney, KPVI News 6.